One Eastern Carolina homeless shelter is getting an upgrade thanks to some hardworking volunteers. Stephen Glover saw the progress firsthand today. He's live now from that shelter with more. Stephen. That's right, Dave. I'm here at the uh, Hope Mission Shelter in Moorhead City, where volunteers from across the country are here because they want to make a difference for those in need. A community service project is underway in Moorhead City to fix up Hope Mission, a homeless shelter located right in Moorhead City. It's a team effort by boat building companies owned by Correct Craft, including Parker Offshore, based in Beaufort. They're donating their time to renovate the building. President Scott Bauer says he couldn't pass up the chance to lend a hand. I didn't know this, but there's well over 100 homeless people in Carteret County. You know, we're a nice little beach community. You don't really see that. It's not front and center. But there is a big need in the community, and this group addresses that. Hope Mission offers a place to stay, a warm meal, and financial help to people who need it. They serve anyone facing poverty, homelessness, or addiction. The renovation will provide extra room and better living conditions for those in need. When director Ken Johnson found out the boat building companies were offering to pay and complete the renovation, he says he was in awe. There's really no words that can describe the gratitude that we have for what's going on right now. And it's just, it's just amazing. One word is amazing, but that doesn't do justice either. Dozens of volunteers arrived today from as far as Florida and even California. Parker Offshore manager and volunteer Clyde Williams say he is happy to help out a nonprofit that makes such an impact. It means a lot because I'm tied in the community. I have a lot of family here, and just for the people who are less fortunate than the opportunities I've been given, I would like to help and give them the same opportunities. The project will include new rooms, renovated floors, cabinets, a storage shelter that they just built in only one day. Live in Moorhead City, Stephen Glover, WITN News. All right, thanks, Stephen. And hundreds of volunteers are expected to work on the renovations at Hope Mission. A second group will start work on Saturday, and the plan is to finish the project on Sunday. But quite a project indeed. It's amazing what they're doing when they come together like that. Exactly. Yeah. There's strength in numbers, and they mm -hmm. get a lot done in a short amount of time. Great to see.